Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we are going to see love and the general for the sign of Gemini for week ahead. So watch this video if you're a Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're dealing with one. Keep in mind, these are general readings, so it may or may not resonate. If it do not resonate, do not try to deliberately fit and check in any other placement. If you want to have a personal reading, link is in the description. If you want to follow my Instagram, the link is in the description. Now let us see messages for Gemini, please. And if you don't already know, I'm a Gemini son myself. So hey, Gemini. <laughs> so yeah, I know I've been missing in action and I know I kind of suck. <laughs> but I was not feeling very, very well. Um, thanks to the new moon. And uh, that is why I was not recording any videos. But today we are doing it. Hey. So now let us see messages. Give me the present energy for Gemini, please. Ten of Cups, wow, this is really beautiful. <laughs> and bottom of the deck is um, Eight of Pentacles, Gemini. I feel like uh, a lot of you, you are trying to work on a family situation. Some of you, you are very much prioritizing your money, your career, your, your family especially, all right? So more than um, your career and etc., I see your priorities around something when it comes to your family or uh, your home situation. Some of you, you want to maybe buy a home. You want to feel more secure. Some of you, you want to provide for your family. You want to work really hard so that you can make more money and you can like give a better lifestyle to your family or um, your kids or whatever. I don't know. But something about working hard and family. So hard work and family are two very prominent um, keywords for you guys for the coming week. All right. I also see that you're kind of submerging yourself in work and you're trying to tap into your creativity. Some of you, if you're not doing it, then this is your message that if you tap into your creativity, if you have any sort of creative talents or whatever, uh, spend some more time. Like how you can see this, this guy is painting something. So yeah, if you also like paint or you dance or you sing or whatever, so you should do it because that's going to give you a new sense of passion in your life. All right. So because you have been submerging yourself in work lately, you might be feeling anxious or stressed out or whatever. So your advice is to get into your creative side and you know Gemini's are very creative we are the natural third house of the uh, of the birth chart like yeah and we we rule the hobbies department right in the world so we are, we we people have a lot of hobbies and we do multi multitasking so yeah this is time that you do that right so tap into uh, some light-hearted energy Gemini that is your message you have been you have been being very tough on yourself and now it is time to be a little easy on yourself right Okay, give me some love messages for Gemini, please. What is happening in Gem's love life? Some of you, you might also be going to some sort of picnic. I'm seeing that. <laughs> so yeah, random message. All right, give me messages for Gemini. What is happening in Gemini's love life? Tell once, who is this person who's just a lot of hard work? Some of you, you feel that your relationship with somebody or your relationship department is a lot of hard work, right? Um, maybe you were the only one who was doing things and now you kind of feel very stressed out right so you feel gemini that you are kind of done with the situation and you are almost on the verge of giving up but there is somebody who's coming in with some sort of love proposal towards you so it could be a water sign or a fire sign very strongly is what i see because so far we have water fire and we also have a little bit of earth here so yeah like i feel there is a situation with somebody who kind of feels energetically very draining that is why maybe you're trying to divert your attention to things that uh, actually matter to you all right family and stability rather than paying attention to people who do not reciprocate your efforts so maybe that is why you're trying to just divert your attention to your work your family or whatever um, I also see that um, you were basically carrying the burden of a connection all by yourself uh, I don't know if you were doing it but this is how you feel at least all right Gemini this is not a cross watches read as such so do not get offended and don't be like but I was the one who was doing everything. Gemini didn't do it. Then bitch, apply the reading the way you resonate, right? This is not your personal reading. Don't try to be important. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, with the 10 of ones, I definitely feel Gemini. You feel like somebody has been testing your patience. And you feel like you had been carrying the burden of the connection all by yourself. And now you can't do it anymore. So you are basically craving to unburden yourself. And you have been lately contemplating if letting go the situation and just unburdening yourself and cutting ties is a good idea or not so you are kind of contemplating if you if you should move on block delete this person or um, you should like carry forward this connection or not so yeah you feel very drained 
is what I see. So give me some energy about the person that Gemini is dealing with. Two of Swords, yeah, and the Four of Wands. What the fuck, Gemini? Your person, I see this bitch likes this back and forth with you, Gemini. You are definitely dealing with somebody who's kind of a player, to be very honest. Two of Swords is this person's energy towards you with the Four of Wands. Some of you, this person, I see maybe you kind of maybe had expressed your feelings to this person. So now they kind of know that you have feelings for them. That's why they are hitting your vulnerable spot, to be very honest. Like this person knows your weakness. They know that you love them, you care for them and whatnot. And you had been carrying all the burden of the connection on yourself and you had been overgiving. So this person is kind of enjoying the attention that you had been giving them. And they are now kind of exploiting you, Gemini, to be very honest. So how they feel about you is four of ones. I see this person has feelings. There's like passion in here. Some of you, you might be married to this person or you wanted to get married. So either of the two, all right, so you were either married or you wanted to, right? And maybe some of you, you kind of express this person uh, to this person that, yes, I am looking forward to get married to you and whatnot. And this person also wanted it, but then they like to play games, like how some people, they, they like the running and chasing dynamics. So this person is liking the chase that you were giving them and they might be exploiting. Yeah, this person is not opening up and they are not giving you the clarity that you want. But what they feel about you is the four of ones. They have feelings, yes. They would want this happily ever after and whatnot with you, but they want you to chase them. Let me be very honest here. Some of you, I feel this person was giving in a lot of attention to you in the past and then you kind of expressed yourself and the moment you did, this person ghosted you. So you are confused. You are like, is this even worth it? You are majorly contemplating if you should stay back or you should leave. Like, that's your energy. However, this person's energy, they do not want to express to you, but they have feelings. Yeah, see? Somebody's ego is getting in the way. The hanged man. This person is not ready, ready? <laughs> ready. Ready to sacrifice their ego. They're trying to hold on to some sort of ego which is not letting your connection move forward with them. This person has been very silent. I see there's this no contact period going on between both of you. Or even if you communicate, it's very, very restricted communication is what I feel. And the only problem here, again, the Ten of Pentacles, see? There's like a lot of stability, there's a lot of potential Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. But this person is kind of ruining it with their silence and with their ego. Unnecessarily. This person is not giving you the clarity. They want to make this go forward with you, but they don't want to confess. So this running and chasing is going on between both of you. Maybe in the past, they, they did not confront and then they confronted. And then when they confronted, you didn't. And now when you are confronting, they don't. Like this back and forth, back and forth is happening between both of you. Is what I see. And this has been feeling a little depressive to you now. Like you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you're very confused and that is why you do not even want to acknowledge that all of this is happening so what are you doing you're trying to isolate yourself from everything and you're trying to focus on work you're like this this is not happening like i, I don't want to pay attention that's what you're doing you feel you're, you you're stuck in some sort of toxic cycle and yeah this is toxic this is toxic all right what is this person's next action what is this person's next action towards my gems, please? Six of ones? Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> what? So this person kind of walked away from you, some of you. Or they were acting very distant, but their next action towards you is six of ones. Some of you, this person is going to put you at some sort of pedestal and this person is going to give you a lot of attention, Gemini. Hmm. <laughs> somebody is setting you on some sort of stage 601 is when somebody kind of puts you at the center spot they want to make you the highlight of the situation 601 is how they're going to react to you i see a lot of communication coming in expect this person like suddenly giving you a lot of attention the same person who was withdrawing from you and was creating unnecessary drama i see some of you this has been going on from last eight weeks some of you eight months i don't know but you know, hanged man is also that the situation is going to change 180 degree. So whatever is happening is going to drastically shift is what I see. And this person's next action towards you 601s. 
this person okay okay let me let me tell you one more thing some of you this person was trying to make you insecure telling you how many options they have but now when they are having a lot of options they kind of see that nobody matches you so i see this person is going to tell you things like nobody can replace you and you are the only one and i learned it the hard way and all of that so expect this person to shower you with a lot of attention all of a sudden <laughs> somebody is just trying to make you the center spot so you see how this this woman she's surrounded by so many people but she's giving rose to this one woman so yeah some of you this person though they have a lot of attention but they want you to make make you the center spot what is going to be the outcome here between gemini and this person please what is going to be the outcome Ten of Sword hmm, and the Four of Pentacles. Some of you, you, the drama may continue between both of you is what I see. Some of you, you just going to be very closed off to this person when they come back. Like Gemini, for God's sake, stop playing the games. You had done this in the past. If you don't want this person, tell them straight up. But do not try to hold. See, this is the, this is the problem, Four of Pentacles. When they open up, you don't. When you open up, they don't. Like, for God's sake, stop this drama that you have been doing with this person and this this person has been doing the same back to you i see some of you this person is going to come back they're going to make an effort towards you but you might try to restrict this person some of you are going to tell this person that no i'm not interested i've moved on and all of that i'm not saying not to move on i'm saying that if you haven't moved on and you want this connection do not play games all right i'm asking you not to play games all right if you want this person then be open and if you don't want them, then just cut them out of your life for once. Do not try to play games, is what I suggest. Give me one more card. Show me the outcome between Gemini and this person. The, yeah, again, see? The seven of ones and the ace of pentacle. Yeah. So it's like both of you want to connect with each other, ace of pentacle. Both of you want this new beginning, but then you just try to restrict the communication delete block not replying and all of that like don't play games gemini please you're going to get this attention that you had been seeking out of this connection you wanted this person to open up i see they will don't play games in return all right be, be more vocal and be more accepting if you want this be vocal if you don't want it cut the door like cut this person out of your life you know once i see this person is also very um attracted to you you might be doing something you might be going through some sort of glow up i don't know you might be reducing weight i don't know what are you doing but queen of one is somebody who's very desirable so you look very desirable to this person with the empress again yeah like somebody kind of learned it the hard way that you are a woman of standard or a man of standards and this person could not get you out of this connection with somebody else like maybe they tried but they, they now realize that nobody kind of matches you, Gemini. So you don't have to become ego egoistic about it, okay? If this person comes and they come correct, give in to the connection. Enough of games and drama and all of that. Like, don't do it, Gemini. All right? Don't do it. I know, I know Geminis like to play games and we are very good at it as well. Don't do it. All right? What is the advice for Gemini here, please? Advice for Gemini, please. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. <laughs> wow. We have two Aces already in the reading. Ace of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. Your message is to open up to opportunities. Some of you, you really have this new beginning coming in, but it's going to be very quick. All right? So if you do not act upon it, it's going to vanish. So if you want this connection, you want the stability, you have to be very quick to react, is what I suggest you. With the Queen of Pentacles, I also see that you've been working really, really hard which is good, but do not, um, you know, bury yourself under work and money so much that you do not even pay attention to your relationships and family. So, yeah, set your priorities right is what I would suggest. All right. And I see new beginnings coming in. Some of you, there could be more than one option coming in. So there could be a fire sign or an earth sign. That's that might be interesting. Some of you, it's a water sign. But yeah, you have to be quick to react, quick to take this opportunity. If you sit back and and you just wait, the opportunity is going to pass. All right. All right. Give me something for my singles, please. What is coming towards my singles? 
Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, somebody is coming in with a love offer. Two of Pentacles, the same message. This is what I love about Tarot, no matter who you read for. But if you're reading for a collective energy of Geminis, then it's the same message. Two of Pentacles. And here also we have the Ace of One, the Ace of Pentacles. Geminis, you are up for options in love. You definitely have options. No matter you're single or you're dealing with somebody, you have love coming in. There's a stable relationship offer coming in. There could be more than one option that's interested in you. You have to make the right choice and you have to make a fast choice. The problem is that you do not make a choice. Yeah, see, the chariot. Most of the times you do not react and then when you react, the other person does not and that kind of sabotages your connection. So you need to stop doing that. Now is the time that you make a deal. When this person approaches, give them a clear answer, yes or no. And if you say no, then there's no point of seeing the tarot videos later on right then you need to move forward in your life like don't try to sail in two boats all right you will drown that way i hope the message is very loud and clear Gemma. i see this person is going to reach out to you it's going to be very quick very passionate you have to make a decision that's the only thing stop self-sabotaging all right gemini and stop playing games give me a message for gemini please give me a message for gemini Make an effort, yeah. Didn't I tell you? Somebody is going to make an effort towards you. You have to make an effort in, in response and passion and true love. Wow. And give your relationship a chance. Yeah, that's that's all I have to say. Like, there is somebody definitely coming in. They want a second chance. Some of you, there's this connection is mutual. You both wanted, but now you have to act like you want it too. Do not try to play safe. Do not try to play games. Do not try to self-sabotage. Do not try to make this person chase the yeah, and all of that. No. If you want it, be vocal. If you don't want it, cut this person out. Very clear message. I also see somebody is very sexually attracted to you. Some of you, this person wants physically in physical intimacy with you. So like they, they like you physically as well. I don't know. This is nothing like a fuck boy, fuck girl kind of situation. No, it's like this connection is also very sexual. The queen of wands and the passion card. So yeah, Gemini. All right, give me a message for Gemini, please. Give me a message for Gemini. I am waiting for the day I can make you an offer. Hmm. You are having an unexpected offer coming in. And this person is waiting for the right time to make it to you, Gemini. You are my twin flame. Some of you, this person thinks that you guys are twin flames or soulmates or whatever. I love you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some of you... There's this connection that you had been manifesting or I don't know, you were maybe manifesting a communication or whatever. It is happening. The only thing I would tell you, Gemini, don't mess it up. All right. This person is going to make you an effort. This person loves you. You love them. You both want it. Don't play games. All right. Don't ruin it. So yeah, that was the reading. Hope this helps and resonate. If it does, make sure you subscribe, like, share, comment. I will see you very soon in the next video. You guys take care. Stay safe. Bye.